Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Roderick here back with more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. First off, I need to use some items. We have a couple of chams, three chams, and again, not really going to do anything. I think Cupel's in its last form until we get to his final form. And then we also have a captain's stripe to use, bringing the ship's HP to 52 that's, uh, that's fantastic. Alright, so we are actually outside of Sailor's Island. I wanted to come here because there is a, uh, Sailor's Guild here. And I need to sell all of the information I can on the remaining discoveries that we found. But I just wanted to show this off as well. We walk in, talk to the Guildmaster, to think that the King of Rogues would ever come to this guild. It's a true honor, sir. So once you reach a certain level of fame, shopkeepers will start referring to you by your title. So, we're gonna sell all of the discovery information. I want you to see, like, I've got 54,000 gold right now, but look at this. Like, a lot of these are crazy. Like, the early stuff, the stuff that's easy to find, like the Guardian Wall, something that you're gonna run into anyway. Uh, the, uh, where is it? The uh, dancing lights are another cheap one, but yeah, that's yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and sell everything: stone city, ship graveyard, philosophy stone, bloom flower, lands of ice. Yeah, it's this is. We have not sold these in a while, <laughs> so just just to show you what we're gonna end up with money-wise, which we're gonna kind of need. Because there are several weapons and items that we're going to need to buy that are going to require a ridiculous amount of money. I think I've got that amount of money well beyond where I actually need it. But like, the Loon Wreckage, really hard to find. Apparently really hard. I would not expect that one really hard to find. It's, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So, yeah, I just quintupled our... <laughs> We had, what, 50,000? <laughs> now I've got 200 and almost 240,000. And that's just not even selling the, uh, the crappy Zylvan Bane items that I've got that I have not sold at all. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that off because, A, you get to see, uh, a shopkeeper referring to us by title and all inspired that they made us, and B, to see how much money we just made. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to Crescent Isle, now that we've got the last uh, moon crystal. So, obviously, <laughs> there's gonna be some plot, right? Yeah. So we're gonna head northeast. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip ahead, and just kinda... Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead. So I'll see you guys in, in uh, just a moment. Alright, so we are back at Crescent Isle. Not that that took long, but, you know, I'm just skipping over the world, flying in, you know, high ocean or below ocean. And hey, look, we have a visitor! Gilder! Ooh. I heard that you sailed around the world as always, kid. It sounds like you've been trying to get yourself into more trouble. Yep. <laughs> More likely, he's running from someone. His obsessed girlfriend, I would say. But we have, you know, a fun night! Oh yeah, we've got, like, some sort of little duck-chicken things. Those are new. They were here the last time we came here, but... Didn't really, you know, look at them. So you went to Yafutoma and then to the Land of Ice. And look at all of the wonderful crystals we have. The the blue crystal is really one of the only oddly shaped ones, because it's basically shaped like... They're all shaped like what you would ex the the little icons for the, the magic are, if you're curious about that. Yeah, I'm leaving. Actually, there's something that was bothering me from earlier. 
Yeah, where... Yeah, that's a good question. You had a special ship when you arrived. Actually, I take it back. I don't think they're all the same as the, the moon crystal. The moon crystals and the, the icons. I'll have to look. Now I'm looking, I was like, I don't remember the yellow one being just a square. The place where Ramirez and I were born and raised. The Great Silver Shrine. Yeah, we've never been there, and we've pretty much been all over the world. When the rains of destruction fell upon the lands, most of the world's population was killed, all seemed lost. The most powerful Sylvite mages met at the shrine. They combined their energy to send it to the sky above the destruction. Ever since then, from above, we have sworn to protect this world from the same fate that our ancestors suffered. Where no ship can reach it, so how do you plan to get back? Why don't we just throw them into the abyss? Like, just throw them overboard. Keeping them is obviously dangerous. If I could get the ship that I came in, yeah. So, yeah, we've got to find another way of getting phenol. Um, does that mean we'll have to... Yeah, you'll have to say goodbye. It's kind of sad, because, you know... Lately, I find myself thinking, I'm sort of thinking, if I'm able to find my way home, I just maybe stay here. I mean, we have them, they're safe, we're not going to abuse their power. Oh god, what's going on in Valua? Oh, hey, look, people we haven't seen in forever. The status of construction of Dangrel Island. Yes, my lord. And that's a creepy voice acting. The construction of the port is complete, and Deloco's flagship is currently being fitted so that it will be able to submerge into deep sky. <laughs> oh no, there. Oh, so Galcian shows. That he's not really working for the the Empress. He's got his own agenda. Shall reign supreme? Oh, what? Leave for Dangrel. Wish to oversee. I wish to oversee the final stages of this Death Star myself. Tell the other admirals to assemble at Dangrel. I wish to know where they stand. Oh. I walk the path of des death and destruction. I really want to know what it is about Galcian that's got Ramirez on his side. This... Something just does not add up, does it? Am I the only one missing this? I think I am. Actually, I'm not. I've played the game and I, I, I know, but there's really very little information before this. Alright, so yeah, we're... I think we're pretty much done. We need to find Dangrel Island. Alright, so Dangrel Island, if you talk to some of the, the NPCs throughout the game, they'll give you hints as to where to go. Um, oh, also, I need to show off the stuff that we got. So that there on the little island is, uh, that's our cute little animal. It's a panda. And then there's fish. We've got fish. Look at, look at you being all fishy. And then come over here and Enrique is, you know, hanging out with, you know, his girlfriend. I hope I can convince her that what she's doing is wrong. Uh, good luck with that. And then, off in the distance, we have a relief of vice. See, look at that. That's awesome. It's awesome.
Where's the stage? Or is it in the tavern? I think it's probably in the tavern. And then I'm gonna go look at... Yes, there's a stage! How wonderful! I dance in your honor. I dance the sun. Dance the dance of life with me, Lois. I feel like I could make. I can make you lunches that could take you. With, yes. You don't have. Okay, so I don't have the the tin fish, but that's what you need in order to uh, get the lunches. Not really that they're all that useful, because you can't use them in battle, so... But I want to come and see if I need to upgrade anything else. I don't think I do. I think everything in here just has the one upgrade. We can talk to Ryukan, see if he can finally upgrade. Can you upgrade, old man? I've got a collection of some of the fun... Uh, let's see. Let's talk to you. No, nope, you're still... Do you have any new weapons, though? Nope. Pretty much the same stuff. But we did get a new weapon for Vice. I need to use that. And... That will also remind me to check and see what... Alright, we got Thunder Cutlass, Ancient Cutlass made from Yelgar's hardened skin. Some say it can cut through lightning. Okay, so yeah, actually, yeah, they are they are the same shape as everything, because that's, you know... Yeah. How amazing is that? It's little things in this game that keep me surprised. And as you see, I'm still using the white map, because I... Screw random encounters. Alright, he is upgraded considerably. Why did you want to devote your life to medicine? Before you joined my crew, you lived on that little island... Making potions. Yeah, why are you a hermit? My parents were both nobles from Upper City, so during my childhood I was well taken care of. Interesting. I read all the time. So you're obviously very intelligent. He crawled into Upper City on his hands and knees. He was begging for money so he could buy medicine. No one would help him. I oh. He's actually a really good person. That's, you know. And because the fact that he was intelligent and wanted to work on stuff to help people, no, no, we want them we want you to make weapons, and he's like, no, screw you. I'm not gonna make weapons. I'm gonna help people. Weapons just hurt people. You know, it's that's that's actually really nice. All right, so let's see what you can buy and sell. Now that you've upgraded, yes, we can now buy the seeds for five thousand a pop. Pantera, Ickle, Zal, Sylph, Vital, and Magus. And you see how many we have of each, because I have not used any of them. Four, five, four, five, two, two. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot of money on those after I buy the weapons. Once Ryu can get set up. So yeah, that's, that's everything we can do here. And as I was saying, we've got... You can talk to NPCs about Dangrel Island. Uh, Sailor's Island people talk about uh, its construction. The Nasser Merchant uh, is one of them. Says it's west of Sailor's Island. A ship that's floating around Sailor's Island says it's south. Uh, or that it's west of Sailor's Island. Mentions that it's south of there. So... Yeah, you get a couple of vague hints. Oh, hey, look, another cutscene. I don't know what's happening. I don't remember this one. Oh, yeah, Gilder. I forgot that he was here. I have some news for you. I found out some information. Okay, so yeah, he's the one that... He's the one that tells us that we need to go to Dagrel Island. 
appears that Vlu has begun advancing into the lower altitudes. North of Pirate Isle, somewhere beneath the clouds. So he tells us north of Pirate Isle. Sailor's Isle tells us it's west or south from there. So... There's a bottom of the world. Well, I mean, we can kind of go into lower sky. So, I, yeah, it looks like they're going after Fina's ship. So, I'm gonna save it here, because we've got some stuff done, and then we are going to, I'm going to go to Dangrel Island. I'm not going to go into Dangrel Island, but I'm going to show off where it is. And then I'll probably end this episode here. I might actually go in, because there's probably going to be a save point right at the beginning. Yeah, more than likely. Alright, so... We're just going to travel. I'm not going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to go ahead and go. So, the exact area... Mid-ocean, east of Shrine Island at low altitude. So, there's Shrine Island. So, probably in this area here. So, we're going to go there. So, we are actually already facing the right way. So, we are just going to skip ahead... We're not going to go in mid-ocean because, you know, random battles are still a thing. And I'm so tired for random battles. I do need to do a lot of power leveling, though. That is something that I really, really need to do. Alright, so that was the ship with... Or that was the island with the blue and wreckage. Again, I don't know why that's so hard to find. Hey, I got a fish. A single fish. That's why the Hamchow, Hamachow Hermit mocks me. Because that's all I manage to get when I fly through a cloud of fish. It's disappointing, wouldn't you say? I'd say it is. Alright, so... I would say it's probably on this island. Because there looks like there's some stuff on it. Look at it. Look, I'd say there's a base here. And here's the prompt for it, so let's go ahead and go on. And we'll save it at the entrance. Because why not? Plus, we get a little cutscene for it, so... Hey look, it's all of the people we've beaten the crap out of. I have urgent news that affects all of you. I, I really hate Alfon Alfonso. I really hope I get to push him over the side. From this day forth, the Armada will no longer be under the Empress's control. Everyone's kind of freaking out. What are, You're talking about insurrection. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm following my own path. It's your decision if you want to follow me or not. <laughs> Punishment is death, except, uh, who's gonna stop him? <laughs> oh, crap. No! <laughs> and even Alfonso's scared of Ramirez. Beliza, she's obviously going to follow him. Vigoro doesn't care. Deloco is obviously crazy. Gregorio. He wants to hear it. He's Yeah, he's not after the throne. <laughs> so... I want more power. More control than Valua has ever had. Yeah, what are you doing? 
I want to know his plan. All right. And we get some fun dungeon music, and... Obviously, there's really nothing up here. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I will see you guys in the next installment, in which we will tackle the dungeon of Dangrel Island. So till then, later everyone.